Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Trizus Max with Two Lives Gaming. Thank you so much for joining us. We are playing Airport Simulator Tycoon First Class. Please like and subscribe if you're interested in this sort of content. And uh, for our returning viewers, check it out. Our medium flights are busy. We seem to be doing pretty well with them as well. Um, I have gone and checked up on some of the services and so on so today i want to make sure that we understand what contracts mean before we start signing contracts uh, we've had various questions about certain shops not working uh, they're getting rent but not packs that sort of thing and i think i might find i might have found the solution to that so let's go over to our contracts over here uh, in the beginning, we start off with uh, fast travel here. Yeah? Let's go into fast travel. You can see my relationship is maxed out at 1,000. It doesn't climb farther than that. Uh, I don't know if I've got more ranks, but thus far it is uh, one of our oldest airlines. All right, when we go in here, we've got a general view of the type of airplanes that we we'll expect. Also gives us an idea of how many passengers and how much income we'll be getting per flight. And then we've got airport services, very important there. So this airline requires us to do refueling. Now I want us to go over to the PAX area. When we get into the PAX area, we can find that there are PAX expectations. Now, these little dots down here uh, is the expected quality that they require. All right, so we can see that, that packs from fast travel will be expecting food and drink and facilities. Now, I think facilities might, th might be something like, uh, let's go into our building here and we'll see. Facilities... I think would probably be something like uh, your PAX management, restrooms, trash bin, seats, that sort of thing. Th this is facilities that you're going to have to use. But let's go back into our flights here yeah? and we'll go back into fast travel. So we see that our PAX need facilities and food and drink and there needs to be certain amount of quality. So, best way we can probably get to that quality is by upgrading the certain stalls that we have. Let's say it's food and drink, we'll do our coffee shops, we'll do the fast takeout, we'll do um, things like uh, vending machines. That is all food and drink. And then facilities, I can imagine, is going to be trash bins, seats. We're going to need those sorts of things. But it gets a little more complicated as you go on to the next line. And you'll find that this was also one of our very first ones. Gluck Airlines. You now have three different types of planes landing here. Airport Services says that um, it's going to require inspection. Okay, we can also see this preferred time slots. If you compare them, you're going to want... It kind of spread out uh, or else you're going to end up with all a n a m p m flights let's go over to the packs here now we can see that things are changing a little bit here the packs expectations here are comfort food and drink all right so seats that counts then as comfort you're going to have to find places to sit and get them to relax i see that they've got that little chair thing when i stand up and they found a nice place to rest and then terminal sign, I'm still trying to figure out every six minutes. But yeah, when we see what they need, it's comfort and food and drink. So we've got those sorts of shops. Now we're going to move on to Aodessa. A little bit more complicated. Right now, the services we can give them is food and drink with uh, refueling. Right? Let's go over to their packs. Now things start getting very interesting here because not only do they want comfort, facilities and food and drink, it's not that they want the facilities and food and drink that much, I think, but what they are looking for is comfortable seats, 
there has to be lots of trash bins and toilets for hygiene and these are the first ones looking really for shopping um, the other the other flights might say that somebody was looking for shopping but Aerodesa is going to give you a bad grading if you do not have shopping available if you do not have enough toilets available all right let's go to one that we've been struggling with prosperity airlines prosperity airlines is also one of the early ones it, I, I think after the other three this is the one that we get and they seem to be the luxurious class now if we look up there we, obviously prosperity we see it's a uh, very particular types of jets that they've got here and then it's um its packs is a lot more difficult to handle because in the early game we might have a little bit of a fashion shop so good on to the guy that made the comment about the fashion shop you're correct um, by turning off prosperity lines we don't have people coming in and out of our fashion shops but now we keep on failing with prosperity airlines because we don't have anything of luxury so every time we do a contract with them they find everything else there hygiene fashion food and drink and comfort it's the least of their expectations what they want is luxury we can't offer luxury and that ends up us uh, losing that contract okay so how did we realize this well this was when we open up with worldwide airlines this is probably one of our first medium haul yeah it's our first medium haul aircraft uh, company and we can see here that the services that they require are basically all the services we have available right now so um, I don't know if it if it's going to say when it needs a pushback but there is a service here that I can see it's it's not showing let's go to the packs and see if it shows there all right what it is not showing here is that one of the things that we need is we need an international passport checking station for this so this is not marked here but let's go over to the packs the packs in comparison with prosperity airlines everything except entertainment has changed with the idea of having high valuable things so they are a bit easier to to handle because we can supply them with most of these things it's just entertainment I'm finding a bit difficult right now. But you'll find that the fashion shop is also being used now. So let's go in there and we'll sort this out once and for all. You can see there's cash hanging above my fashion shop here. Alright. And we go and check in our general. Uh, yesterday we saw that uh, the rent income was, was happening. We take a look at our services today. We can see that we are now making a daily sales cash with a pack. So, big up on that. If you're going to start building buildings and certain stores and so on, see what your contracts require from you. These little faces, I can tell you that that one, it was probably going to be one of our Gluck Airlines. They wanted some comfort. But we'll be remodeling maybe our airports a little bit but what we need to keep in mind is is when we start signing these contracts with airlines um, we're gonna have to make sure that everything is in line so let's say i wanted to take jurassic next and it's one that i've been wanting to push for for a while so we'll probably get one eventually uh, let's go see what we're gonna need for them we're going to need a lot more entertainment so up until the point where we can say that our worldwide has been fully satisfied with entertainment only then should we really sign this contract with jurassic packs now this was only the requirements for packs so um, i thank you so much for joining us we'll do another one we'll do it uh, everything on the outside see what is required for your airplanes things we haven't done things we have to look into all right everyone thank you so much for joining this is max signing out bye bye